how's everybody doing tonight? You guys doing okay? You having fun, Pittsburgh? I'm gonna thank you guys all very, very much for coming out tonight. Uh, this is the first official Lord Grunge Presents night of indie stand-up comedy, and I'm very excited about it. And I'm hoping, hoping that this is something that's gonna continue, that's gonna reoccur, because I'm really pumped about it. I've got a lot of really talented, funny assholes tonight. <laughs> And uh, I don't know, man. Got a couple rules tonight. You know, and I don't like rules, man. I'm not into rules. Rules suck. You know, rules suck almost as much as minorities. But we have a couple of them tonight, you know? And uh, I just like to ask that everyone please refrain from heckling because it's not easy to get up on stage with just a microphone and act like an asshole. It's not easy. You might think it's easy. Dane Cook sure makes it look easy, you know? But he, you know, is equivalent to like ball cancer in cultural terms, you know? He's a rancid piece of shit. So it would be easy for a fucking pock-faced piece of dog shit like him. But anyway. <laughs> We ask that you please not heckle, you know? You can whisper to each other about how much the guy sucks, but you know, we're not out here for like, you know, Pitchfork is not gonna review the show, Chunklet is not gonna write about it, so you're not gonna earn any brownie points with anyone for heckling, so we'd appreciate it if you didn't. And also we ask, uh, you know, that you please tip the lovely Bumblebee, or Honeybee, pardon me, serving, serving the beer and wine, because she has, yeah, she has a court, a court date pending, and all the cash would be very much appreciated. But uh, we're going to get it started right now. And uh, our first comic tonight, you might know him from his, his band, a little, little band I like to call Gil Manterra's Party Dream. Boo! <laughs> uh, yeah, I guess technically you're allowed to boo. I, don't, I guess I don't know if that counts as heckling. I just don't want... God, if anyone like does that shit where you try to be funnier than the guy on the mic, like I will personally drag you out of here and feed you to the blacks. <laughs> I mean, I just, I'm not gonna tolerate it, man. I'm not gonna fucking tolerate it. No disrespect. <laughs> Our first comic tonight is a man who goes by the name of Cookie Clown. And you might know him from Gil Manter's Party Dream, like I said, one of the best fucking live bands I've ever seen in my life. And uh, I have no idea what this guy's got in store for you, but I, I have a pretty good idea that it's gonna be fucking awesome. So please make some noise for the cookie clown. doing I am the cookie clown and as you heard this big fat asshole he uh, he calls me the cookie clown and he introduces me by my band you know I gotta tell you folks that really uh, that really makes me uncomfortable you know because when you get these these uh, people and you go to a party and someone says hey this is so-and-so from such band, you know, you kind of feel a little weird, if, you know, it kind of puts people in a weird mood about you. It makes them feel like, oh, well, you're trying to impress them. And I gotta be honest, you know, if I'm gonna brag about myself, I got much cooler shit to say. So, uh, anyways, so I am the cookie clown from the Gilman and Terrace Party Dream, and, 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 and I didn't want to start off like that, because I do want to just be a, a, a regular comedian tonight. But so sometimes you, you go to Guitar Center as you're in a band, and some guy goes up to you and says, hey, you, you look like you're in a band. And, I, and, and he gets really excited, and, you know, he looks like he wants to be your best friend. And then you tell him your band name, and you get this. Never heard of it. <laughs> never heard of it. Like, what, you know, fuck you, okay? It's like, you, you never heard of it. That's great, you know, what, you know how that makes me feel, you know? And it's not that I, it reminds me that I'm not really where I'd like to be in my career, or that I'm not getting as much pussy or cocaine or whatever the hell it is that you get when you're a big rock star. It's just the fact that I've heard it a million fucking times. Never heard of it. And so you get some people to say, well, if they don't want to say never heard of it, they say, oh, well, that's a really long name. Oh, well, that's really insightful, you know? That's a really long name, hmm. 
Great. There's a lot of fucking bands with a lot longer names, you piece of shit. You know, things were going great up until I told you my band name. You wanted to suck my dick. Now, all of a sudden, I'm lower than you. You can't even get a band together to save your fucking life, asshole. You know, you got a lot of work to, to you know, get where I'm at, at least. So anyways, you know, you get some perks about being in a band, and uh, occasionally on tour, I've got to meet semi-famous people, or uh, nobody really impresses me, you know. <laughs> but I was in, uh, I, don't, I don't know where it is, Tennessee, Kentucky, met this guy, James E. Ha from a band you might know called the Smashing Pumpkins. I like the Smashing Pumpkins, you know, but they, I didn't get to meet the main fucking guy. Billy Corgan would be a guy I'd like to meet. James E. Ha is the Asian faggoty looking dude. <laughs> Not a guy you want to meet, and he's about this high, you know. I mean, I don't really even know how to talk to Asian people. <laughs> I mean, really. So I meet this guy, and I'm thinking to myself, what a, okay, I can't, I can't tell the guy I'm in a band because I know how that is. I hate to hear that shit. Someone comes up to me, hey, Gil Mantera, cookie clown. Hey, I'm in a band. Hey, I play guitar. It's like, yeah, I, I don't play guitar. Fuck you, you know? I don't, even if you play keyboard, it's not very cool. I don't give a shit. You're not on my level, you know? In most case, most case scenario, they're not. Anybody that really is on the level will never introduce themselves that way. This is my whole thing. Excuse me. And so uh, I say, I say to myself, there's no way I could tell this guy I'm in a band, but I, I do gotta say something cool. I, do, I gotta let him know I am on the level. I gotta let him, this motherfucker know I'm cooler than he is. So I go up to him with some words of wisdom. I say, hey, James E. Ha, I am the cookie clown. And you know, he proceeds to say, wow, that's a really cool name, you know, that's a, and I say, I know. It takes a really cool guy to have a cool name like the cookie clown. But I said, you know what you should do, man? This is a good idea. I think it could really help you out. You should change your name from James Eha to James Yeeha. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I think it's a great fucking idea. I told him, look, for two reasons. You got, you know, your, your career is going down the shitter as we speak. This could help that. And also, it'll make you seem a lot less like a faggot. And uh, so you know what he says to me, and I'll, I'll try to do my best James Eha impression. He does this. He goes, Oh, Cookie Clown, that is very, very good idea. I think you're going to make me very, very rich man. <laughs> That's my James E. Ha. <laughs> Technical difficulty. But uh, before I go, ladies and gentlemen, because there's only a, there's a, we did a lot of quick sets tonight. I told you know what little does he know is I got that name copyrighted, and if he tries to take it, my lawyers are going to have a field day with his ass. Thank you very much. I'm the Cookie Clown. Woo!